no joke. When I had this week's interview up on my computer in the newsroom, I had four people walk by and go, is that the guy from that History Channel show? The point here is that Doug Markaita has become a familiar face with familiar catchphrases that he whips out on the show Forged in Fire, a show where contestants make bladed weapons. Markaita is a judge there. He also lives in Rochester, the place he moved to from the Philippines when he was 17 years old. He has since become an expert in Kali, a Filipino martial art that specializes in knives. Here's my interview with him about his sharp rise to fame. How did you get linked up to the TV show? When they were, when the idea of the TV show came out, they were looking for an end user. So they had a master bladesmith in mind, then they had a historical weapons recreationist, and then they were saying, now we need an end user. So they saw my videos online, and um, they contacted me, and it goes, oh, you can talk. So <laughs> let's have you on the show. What has that experience being on Forge and Fire been like for you? We're over 268 episodes. We're going to the 10th season. And, I, and, and when families tell me they watch it with their families, that means I'm part of that memory that they're going to have. And I love that part. You were introduced to martial arts later in life, 16 years old, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. When you first got into it, did you know immediately that you loved it or did that grow on you? It was something that I got into because I had a troubled childhood and I uh, always got into trouble at that time. But then finally my father goes, you know, we're, we're getting into your teens now and teens don't fight fair back home, a lot of gang issues and everything else. So he goes, take some martial arts. And I thought, all right, I'm not going to get to kick ass now you with style. No, it calmed me down. Um, this particular martial art, which is Kali, which is a Filipino martial arts, I saw in the Philippines. I never studied that. I took everything else, like Taekwondo, Karate, do all the other arts except that because I was afraid of knives. I was afraid of weapons. It wasn't until I got and joined the U.S. Air Force that in my time in there, I met a guy who was actually a practitioner. And he wasn't even using weapons. He was just using his hands and everything, but he'd throw me everywhere. I'm like, oh, nice. Aikido? Is it like a jiu-jitsu? What, what are you doing? He goes, it's called Kali. I'm like, never heard of that. Oh, it's Filipino martial arts. Wait a minute. I'm Filipino. What are you talking about? Mm. And he goes, well, then you should know about the weapons. I, I know. Where are your weapons? And he pulled out the you know, butterfly knife and it scared me again. And he goes, no, 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 come here. We'll show you how to use it. And in, in so using it, you know how to be safe with it. In other words, he told me, face your fear. So the thing that I feared the most, I faced it and I was liberated. And then I didn't realize I got addicted to it. It became a passion. Do you have a favorite blade, a favorite knife? So that question is asked all the time. And the same answer is, who's your favorite child? Wow. <laughs> right? Okay. He said his favorite blade is a sharp one. I offered him some advice, of course. Um, you know, I had to. There's so much other cool stuff about Doug's life, like how he was a respiratory therapist at Rochester Regional for years. You can find the entire interview right now over at rochesterfirst.com.